costing far more than Eric Adams claims. My friends, do you know what the cost per migrant is going to be for this debit card program? I heard $10,000. $10, per migrant. <laughs> Sick. Wow. I got to get down to New York, man. I just want to say this right now as we begin the segment. My friends, share this clip. Clip this segment. This this, this segment right now. Give, give it a few minutes and share with every Gen Z person you know. And I would love to see these like Gen Z Democrats give an explanation for why it is they can't afford a place to live. They can't afford to have a family. They can't. First thing, actually, about this. Loved quoting Rupert Murdoch, right? Quote the Daily Mail, who is also owned by Rupert Murdoch. Okay? That's, that's phenomenal, you know? That's, that's great. That's really sticking it to the man, you know? But second thing. Do you, if you don't want these things to happen, or you don't want these, you want, you want higher wages to match inflation, you want all these things, right? You want to be able to live a lot, like, have, start a family, all these things. All the things Tim Pool said here, ready? Join your unions, okay? Right? Because the more you join your unions, the more these corporate tards absolutely We'll fight tooth and nail against you, right? Notice how with, for example, war spending in the U.S., okay? You have all these, the military-industrial complex, right? These lobbyists, right, for, you know, weapons manufacturers. They, what do they do? Throw money at politicians. These corporations, right? They want corporate tax because they want all these loopholes to not be patched, right? They lobby politicians, you want higher wages, you want all these, you want Medicare, you want free health insurance, you want all these things, you know what you do? Join your unions so they can lobby the government for you. It's that simple. Very simple, you know? But these 